the great YouTuber, man, the GOAT, uh, one of the GOATs, Jake Paul. <laughs> Jake Paul got his first L, man. Um, I was out there moving and grooving, so I could not watch the fight, but I did watch the highlights. Jake Paul, Jake Paul was out there doing his thizzle with Tommy Fury, man, uh, who's the brother of Tyson. And, uh, yo, man, it went down to a split decision. Now, Jake Paul did call for a fourth round knockout. And he told his brother to put the whole mortgage, bet the mortgage on it. Now, look, Logan didn't do that. I'm pretty sure he did bet. He does like to gamble. You know, when, he, when I mean like to gamble, I mean Pokemon cards. But I don't, think he, I don't think he did that at all. And thank goodness he did. So it was a split decision between Tommy Fury. I'm just glad... And I've watched a couple of Jake Paul fights. I will say that illegally. You already know how we do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, I ain't got Jake Paul money. You know, when I, when I, I want to go to a Jake Paul fight if I'm going to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? But look, uh, I'm just glad he fought a real boxer. That's what I'm glad. It's somebody that was young and that was a real boxer. Now, we already announced that Jake Paul is going to PFL and he's literally starting from day one. So he's going to be doing MMA, but Jake Paul did catch, uh, he did catch him, man. Um, and it was 75, 74, 76, 73, 76, 73 split decision. Uh, a lot of people was going crazy. Though, was like, why was Tommy Fury up there jumping up and down? Like he, he beat Mayweather, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like you beat Jake Paul. I don't like the the trolls people do on Twitter. Like, oh man, you jumping up and down because you beat a YouTuber. He's come on, y'all. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> Stop it. You already know he ain't just no YouTuber. Uh, but he's been training. I will say this, you know, yeah, you shouldn't be that excited. Maybe you that excited because somebody been talking a lot of trash, right? And so, yeah, any victory against somebody who been talking a lot of trash about you for a couple of years is a victory. I don't know if I'm jumping up and down, wrapping my legs around a dude. Pause. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm doing all that. But, you know, I'm excited for the dub. Now, Jake Paul did say a couple of crazy things at the end there. Uh, they would let him know that Dr uh, Drizzy Drake uh, had bet 400K. Now, we already know it's probably not his money. Come on. It's just stakes money. But he bet 400K of stakes money. Uh, that Jake Paul will win and Jake Paul lost. And so Jake Paul said, Drake, it's your fault. You know, he was joking around. And I like that, man. He had a little swole on his eye. He did drop him, though. He did drop Tommy Fury. But you know what, man? I don't, I don't know. Logan Paul is killing it with the WWE, even though I don't watch that either anymore. But I don't know what's the future for Jake Paul. Is it, is it boxing or is it MMA? You know, I, I don't I don't know. He got a long hill to climb in the PFL. But the one thing I like about Jake Paul is like, look, man, you know, he's just like boxing. I don't watch boxing. I really don't. You know what I mean? I, I used to watch heavyweights and now I don't even watch that anymore. I just watch MMA and for, specifically, I just watch UFC because I'm excited for John Bones Jones return. So. Boxing pisses me off, man, because it'd be the fights that you want to see. Oh, yeah, they should fight. All right. Pacquiao Mayweather, they should fight. And then it takes five, six, seven. You're not, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not nine, you know, years for them to come together. Then it's too late. It's like, oh, I don't want to, you know what I mean? I don't want to see that fight anymore. It's over. You know what I mean? It's a wrap. I don't want to see it no more. But that's how boxing does. The promoters is this and that. So I will say this. Jake Paul said, look, man, we made the fight. You guys wanted to see it. This is how you're supposed to be doing the boxes. But these boxes got managers and the managers got companies and the promoters. And uh, it, look, man, it's just it's just too much drama in boxing for me to be waiting for that one fight to happen. And I'm just not interested in all the other fighters that's fighting the other fights. I mean, they're destroying the dudes. They just be padding up their stats. Now, it's just like, oh, yeah, he knocked him out. Yes, of course Tank knocked him out. Of course he did, all right? Because this is not even the fight he's supposed to be fighting right now. But y'all promoters say this other dude ain't ready yet, even though he got 25 knockouts. You know, so I don't have time. It's too much drama. Dana White says, look, this is the fight the fans want. We're going to make it. Hopefully, the fighters agree to it, and we get it. You know, if not, he'll tell you, like, look, 
One fighter didn't want it. That's what it was. You know, at least we know. At least we know. And it's a short window for when that fight comes back around, though. You know, you may not get it in, let's just say, July 2022. But now in 2023, July or June, you know, maybe you may you get it, you know. So it's a small delay, but still a great payoff, baby. You know what I mean? Just like this podcast.